heart of modern medicine. Well, I don't know if we're the heart of modern medicine, but I'm certain we're the electrical system of modern medicine because that's what we do. If you've ever injured yourself and gone to the hospital, there's a good chance you were seen by a radiographer. Diagnostic radiographers are responsible for producing quality x-ray images to diagnose injury or disease. Without detailed images of what is happening to the body, treatments would not be as effective and valuable time would be lost. But have you ever thought about becoming a radiographer? If job stability, a promising future, and a good salary is important in choosing a career, a job in radiologic technology might be the answer. We're experts in the field of producing high diagnostic quality images through the use of x-ray and we study human anatomy and the production of x-ray in order to obtain those radiographs. People are important. They are in crisis. We have to take care of them and yet we have to come up with the best film or image that we possibly can to make them better because we are giving the doctor the information about what's going on with them. The full-time accredited program at South Suburban College prepares men and women to function effectively as entry-level staff radiographers. The Rad Tech program here at South Suburban College is a very intense program. It's run by very dedicated faculty members who want to educate young people of all ages to be radiologic technologists. Students can expect not to spend a lot of time in the classroom. You can work side by side in radiology departments with doctors, nurses, and qualified techs. During the two years that they're in the program, they're actually going to their clinical sites, and most of their clinical sites that they do their internships at are the ones that end up hiring them. Students, when they graduate from this program, they can get jobs working on weekends. They can get jobs working during the day in the evening. They don't have to stay in the state of Illinois. They can go to California. If they want, they can go to Hawaii. They can go to Europe. They are licensed across the world, so they have lots of doors open for them. Many employers allow technicians to work flexible schedules, including part-time or evenings, giving them plenty of time to spend with their families. I'm married with five children, so I was able to work and uh, provide for my family and also go through the program, and it was very flexible with that uh, schedule. One of the reasons I choose the radiography program because when my wife is working, I can take care of my daughter, or when I am working, my wife can take care of her. With their Rad Tech degree, they can move on into other modalities in the, in the diagnostic imaging fields. There's ultrasound and uh, computed tomography, CAT scan. There's MRI and nuclear medicine. It opens up a lot of doors. That's a really good thing, just as a good stepping stone of radiography to move on possibly to MRI, CT, ultrasound and that's good and that gives you a lot more options in the future for income. With the advent of all the new technologies that come into Rad Tech and the, the di diversity of our job description, a lot more men are coming into the field because our salaries have gone up so you can actually support a family on being Rad Tech. It is not just a woman's profession, it's a man's profession, it's anybody's profession and it's, it, it's an important part of our world. It's very interesting to see what goes on you're dealing with the doctors and, and nurses and other fields where you really feel like you're doing, you know, you're doing something good for society. Once they leave me after the two years, they become Rad Techs and now they're my peers and I'm proud to call them my peers and my co-workers. <laughs>